Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Celestial Star Keepers of the Universal One. Today we have a powerful 1122 portal of Divine Mastery assisting Pachamama into her transformation of Mothership 33 of the Fleet of the Universal Federation of Light. This is preparing us for the coming full supermoon in Sagittarius this Tuesday, the 14th of June. The heat is on as the fires of Shiva burn bright for our full transfiguration into Homo Luminous, enlightened beings of the pure land of bliss and abundance. The zero point has shifted the assemblage point to align and assist in the great shift of all ages into the new golden age of eternal life. We are elevated up the ascension spiral and through the omega point of the way and into the exodus to the new Jerusalem. Mother, Father, God through the great central sun are transmitting their highest love and light for the coronation of our royal legion of Lemurian descent. Our bodies and DNA are being recalibrated and our nervous systems rewired for a better flow of chi, life force energy. The universal omniscient energy is pulsing through every living vessels of light as all ground crew of the 144 are initiated in the great mystery of eternal life. As we transform from carbon-based 3D physical entities into crystalline light beings of the new earth, we receive the upgrades to our encoded DNA into 12 strand rainbow bodies of Buddha consciousness. We hold the keys and codes within our divine DNA blueprints and together we complete the totality of cosmic consciousness made manifest on earth as it is in heaven. We activate them now for the final countdown of full compression breakthrough. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 17 degrees, 49 minutes Scorpio. The sun is at 21 degrees, 9 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 22 degrees Gemini. Dancing couples crowd the barn in a harvest festival. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 18 degrees Scorpio. A path through woods rich in autumn coloring. From astrologyweekly.com And from the Summit Lighthouse, all of life is energy. Energy is God and God is energy. Everything is made of energy. Everything is made of atomic particles, molecules, and at the core of this energy is Alpha and Omega, the Father-Mother Light, the energy that is the source of life on Earth. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, Feeling upgrades in the monad soul groups come in last night. New assignments coming in. Supersonic coding plasma field. An update in pineal and oversoul chakra. Divine union specifically. We are being rebirthed into the timeline of tomorrow's Shambhala Eden. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Morichetti. Flow of energy through our head, left right brain realignment, irritation, confusion, tears coming up, and realities merging while we are restoring our light. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Elizabeth Peru. With a super moon coming up this week, many may be experiencing sore necks at the same time that cosmic energy is intensified. I've spoken about the vagus nerve in relation to this and how the vagus nerve is incredibly important for transporting light through your body and for catapulting spiritual progression. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777, you might experience heavy pressure in your body, especially the head, sinuses, third eye, the jaw, and also the neck. 
the energy coming into the system through the crown chakra is going down the body chakras, but it is not able to exit the system through the base chakra to get out the old energy that is staying within the system. Having both energies within the body, the high and the low frequency energy can cause even more pressure and make you feel annoyed, angry, sad, irritated. The energy and the lack of action we have felt in the last few days, hours, the feeling we are stuck within the bubble is shifting. The base chakra doesn't let through this high frequency energy as fast as it could and should go because it is time for us to clear another layer of family line, primal base family fears, wounds and blocks that are stored, programmed into the base chakra. This is happening on the collective level too, which means we are clearing for the collective and making sure we reach a certain frequency until the solstice that will enable us to rise to a higher level collectively. The full moon that is coming up in a few days will push us into the clearing, healing mode even more. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Pars Kute, the door of the liquid love has been opened. Indeed, the energies are ramping up. New phase is coming upon us where we will find ourselves awakening even more now, finding ourselves in the higher vibrational frequencies even more now, and remembering who we are more and more. The veil is being lifted, and we are entering into oneness with all that is, with divine love of one, Pars Kute, and from divine sister of the light, Mary Long. Been in a zone all this week like I am here but not here. Doing a lot at a multidimensional level, it feels like. Been more tired than usual. The energy moving through this body is being felt very deeply, even in my bones. Feels like everything inside is spinning or vibrating. Wild feeling, really. Even my muscles have a mind of their own here lately, like they are being recalibrated as well. With the higher radiation levels, our bodies are constantly adjusting. And then we have all these other man-made frequencies flying around. It can be deafening some days. We are experiencing so much at once right now, it will feel exhausting. Like you worked a double or triple shift. Our gravity is being influenced by the activity of our galactic sun as Mother Earth's magnetosphere adjusts to it all. Plus it may feel like a splitting off of dimensions. Just setting back, taking it all in, so much is going to be revealed to humanity that we as the light workers and way showers must be open to their needs, their fears, and reassure them all as well. We will keep climbing the ladder of this ascension process, even if some days you may not feel as if you are, or have this sense of losing hope. Have a magical weekend, dear ones, I will be outside most of it. Love and light to you, all you beautiful souls. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Joe Hemant. The Golden Fleece is here. On Monday night I was shown a rather odd-looking yellow furry object, and as I tried to make out what it was, I heard the Golden Fleece. This was the fleece of the flying ram, Chrysomalus, whose wool was pure gold. Chrysomalus was the son of the god Neptune water and the nymph Theophane, who is descended from the sun god Helios, who was sacrificed and turned into the constellation Ares. His golden fleece was hung in an oak grove and guarded by fire-breathing bulls and a fearsome dragon until Jason of the Argonauts' fame succeeded in stealing it with the help of the enchantress Medea's magic. This is one of the most famous mythic quests the hero's journey to claim the prize that would win him back his throne, the most desired object in ancient Greece. Is what we have been seeking for so long about to be gifted? The golden fleece, symbol of kingship and sovereignty, symbol of the sun and of the sacrificed sun, of the union of fire and water. To me the fleece represents Christ's consciousness, the golden divine light of which all is made. We are on the cusp of a truly quantum shift. Last night my dream was of the magnitude of the upcoming solstice and the preparation our bodies are receiving for this, and also a crystalline technology that has been placed in our fields to be fired up by the incoming energies on that day. Earlier that evening I had seen a diamond spinning in Gaia's core, 
hurling out lightning bolts of energy. She is operating at full power, and we will surely follow her lead. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Thomas Sorkowitz. Venus conjuncts Uranus in the next couple hours on June the 11th, asking, Are you ready to receive a new direction based on the ways you are truly unique and divine? Your inner feminine is ascending, bringing a new love of freedom, or freedom in love, based around a new level of self-love and self-worth. How are you valuing freedom right now in your life? How are you opening up to receive more love or value for how unique you are? Bless Michael Interstellar from Interstellar.net And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Tanya Von Kluck I've been putting off this update as I too have been experiencing a time of much necessary rest. This past week may have been intensely difficult, painful, and tiring for most. There is a very good reason for this. A huge mass consciousness shift has occurred, and we are now in recovery. The amount of light that has been continually flowing onto and into this earthly realm was stepped up again in preparation for what was to be an unplugging from another layer of the old matrix. Much head and neck pain, along with overwhelming fatigue, may have been experienced. Pain in different parts of the body, especially the soft tissues, due to the required bodily cellular upgrades for our ongoing evolution. With pain can come feelings of despair and loneliness. Please continue to reach out to those you feel to and communicate. Give yourself all you need to feel comfort. It's essential at this time. Please know that these feelings will subside as you allow rest so your body can adjust. It's been a big ask, I, we, know, for you are a very important part of the overall healing. Keep stepping through, dear soul. You are loved so very much. We are here this time around to heal ourselves and our ancestral lines. Going all the way back takes a lot of commitment and stamina. It also requires a wise approach to rest. Listen to your body. Why do we need to come here to this earthly realm to heal this? Because we and our divine earth mother and all whom have lived upon her have been harmed via old energy distortions, energies that do not have the all's best interest at heart. We, along with our dear Earth Mother and all the creatures whom have lived upon her, have a divine right to be included in this overall healing. I, we, understand that fear and grief is overwhelming, and many are still at odds with the hows and whys of being here at this time. I, we, ask you to keep searching your hearts and to listen to the divinely connected wisdom of your heart. There you will come to know and feel that what we are achieving here at this time is of utter importance to every single person, every energy, and every star system. Allow the love you hold within you to come to the fore. I, we, love you beyond words and in all ways. Keep going. We are well on our way. With deep love, Tanya, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, sending waves of Arcturian light healing, blue ray healing. We shower you with ancient light rays to expand your light consciousness, to awaken your light intelligence. Ask us to assist your light journey, for we collectively work with every being on the path to light. Feel the light body advancements, breathe in cosmic light, cellular light advancement, Love for your day, brothers and sisters. Uprising and global unity from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, after the intensity of the 666 harmonic portal, we now welcome another intense passage, a super full moon in Sagittarius, together with the solstice on June 21st. Harmonic and very transformational energies that continue descending upon earth and that will remain for us to co-create with them when we are ready, for we are all on different paths of our ascension journey. The Sagittarius full moon brings us the opportunity to come back to a state of peace, joy and excitement for all that is yet to be created and enjoyed in our physical plane. It is a time to move from fear, delusion and sadness into a more joyful space, restoring faith and hope in who we are as a species and as individuals who are evolving. 
As I always say, the moon has a vast history behind it, and we all need to listen to our guidance, as we all have our own time to understand that the moon is just an artificial, inorganic satellite. It is the energies that surround it and the conglomeration of the many alignments that take place within it that bring us the many benevolent energies for us to work with. We need to become aware of it and remember that not to fall again into manipulative traps. The Sagittarius moon sextile Saturn and makes a T-square with Neptune in mutable signs. We have the Sun in Gemini, the moon in Sagittarius, and Neptune in Pisces, which is the peak of the T-square. Neptune, which is also trine Pluto at the moon time, is often called the planet of illusion. However, Neptune's essence is one of spirituality, compassion, intuition, and a higher connection to the divine. Neptune can be our ally if we know how to integrate its powerful frequency to help us move from a low state of consciousness into a more illumined one. It is with Neptune that we have the opportunity to awake to the human dream we are living and begin to remember who we are as it offers us the opportunity to step into other dimensions. As we too have Saturn influencing this moon, they make a very good couple as Saturn will help us to be grounded, emotionally strong, and have the discipline, the devotion, required for us to shift to what is needed within and in our physical reality. This is a time when many are passing through a rough time in their evolutionary journey feeling confused and not knowing any more where they are heading. This cosmic alignment will help them move into a state of hope and faith, understanding that transformation often requires a void, where we do not know or see the end, but that is because we are releasing at the same time that we are integrating, and there is a gap until we finally adjust to the new level of consciousness that we are now embodying. This is where Sagittarius has a major role, as Sagittarius teaches us the importance of living and enjoying the moment, rather than feeding old or future timelines, as all we desire to manifest, comes precisely when we are focused on the now moment, using the present energy to build and be aligned. It is with Sagittarius that we resurrect from the ashes of the old into the illumined beings that we are, regaining our authentic essence which is, as I always say, one of joy, love, and compassion. This passage is very important for it, is helping us to reconnect with our divine self, restoring hope and faith, as many are trapped in confusion and need to shift from desperation to hope. Sagittarius invites us to be conscious of the importance that enjoying the journey has, more than getting to the final destination, being grateful for all the lessons learned in the path itself, knowing that in truth there is never a final purpose or destination, for we are forever evolving and becoming anew within the infinite realms of creation, a purifying and cleansing passage for us to reconnect with our divine essence, seed more love, harmony, and joy, and hold more faith in our personal journey and that of humanity, for there are many things that we are not able to envision from our human view, and we cannot know why all that is taking place occurs. However, we can be sure that all have a divine purpose behind it. We are evolving, moving forward within the endless spiral of creation. We may not see it, but for many of us, we are already creating our own harmonic reality. It is a fact, for we feel it already, and that is enough for the ones who trust in the divine universal plan for all creation. Have a blessed passage and solstice, beloved ones, with infinite love. Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Tanya Gabriel. Eleven portal opens, Venus conjunct Uranus. Good news, these next few days carry a delightful, relaxing energy. On June 11th, the planet Uranus, currently in Taurus, is conjunct Venus, ruler of Taurus providing wonderful opportunities to create new beginnings. It's a powerful union happening on an equally powerful day, June 11th. 11 coupled with Uranus stimulates your willingness to let go and awaken to all that is fresh, positive, and exciting. So now is a great time to start a new creative project. Be open to experiment. Honor your own and everyone else's uniqueness. 
With Venus in play, financial windfalls are enhanced. Especially if you tune into pleasure and playfulness, you tap into the fun surprises this conjunction brings. Explore as far as your creative imagination can go. Uranus loves to take chances and reach into the unknown. Relationships also get a burst of excitement. Venus has a calming effect on Uranus, especially since Uranus is also in the peaceful and grounding sign that Venus rules, Taurus, helping you balance the desire for freedom while also feeling secure, calm, and pleasant. It's a fantastic opportunity to feel creatively and positively engaged with your life. Joyful blessings from TanyaGabrielle.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus conjunct Uranus in Taurus, sextile Juno in Pisces, and semi-sextile Chiron in Aries. The goddess of love and harmony throws open the windows of her home and inhales the scent of a fresh air. Goosebumps ripple across her skin, a frisson of excitement. There's something new on the wind and she recalls the promise she made to herself not to get stuck, not to get so comfortable that life cannot change and grow. On her walk to work, she takes a different route, bumps into a friend, makes plan to visit a new restaurant. Sometimes we don't need huge changes to generate new energy and a different perspective. Maybe you just need to take some valuable time to reconnect. At other times, radical shifts are required to free the heart. Sometimes change can be painful, but the liberation it brings quickly cauterizes the wound. Take a step back to consider what you need. Remember to be a friend to yourself. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 24, Yellow Spectral Seed. The number 11 is called Spectral and its keywords are Dissolve, Liberation, and Release. The eleventh day is all about letting go, releasing whatever holds you back so you may feel liberated. What needs dissolving in your life? Has a certain situation passed its sell-by date? To progress through this wave spell, you might lighten your load. Imagine you have been traveling upward on a mountain path, and now you must reduce the things you've been carrying in your backpack. Be ruthless and practical. You will feel lighter. The number 11 is always the odd one out of a wave spell, but it does not follow the agenda. This is very liberating, as you can just free fall and do what you fancy. Today is yellow seed, and the keywords associated with it are awareness, targeting, and flowering. We all have wisdom and knowledge to share, and yellow seed days are great for doing just that. If you were born on a yellow seed day, you are always striving to get your message across, and today you are in your element. As it is a spectral day, this makes for an interesting combination. The information you share today will have a liberating effect on you or the person you are imparting that information to. So if you want to feel lighter and make your journey easier, share vital information or accept knowledge that will enable you to release. Knowledge liberates us from darkness. Well informed is well armed. It's always a great idea on yellow seed days to plant whatever you wish to harvest in the future. So make plans and lay down the groundwork. You can also reap what you have sown in the past today. Enjoy the fruits of your labor and feel liberated is the message. Targeting is a key word too for the yellow seed and this suggests that by focusing exactly where to plant is crucial. I mean you wouldn't plant a tree in the shade and expect it to grow, would you? So use today to decide what area in your life you should target. Today's guide is also yellow seed, so it is a double helping of sowing awareness. Number 11 days are always guided by themselves. Number 1 and 6 too. When there is no external guide, the day's meaning is simplified and more concentrated. There's no outside influence. People that are guided by themselves also have no outside influence, which means they must figure everything out for themselves. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Spectral Seed, 11 Khan, Keen 24, 11th of June 2022, 11-11 Portal, Liberating Awareness, 11-6-2022 equal 11-6-6 equal 11 12 equal 2, 3 equal 5. 11, 22, triple illumination portal. Day codes, 11, portal, gate, polarity, illumination. 
Two Twins Partners Cooperation, Five Freedom Change Transformation Liberation, Month Year Codes, Six Heaven Christ Family Romance Fertility, Twelve Acquiring Strength Wisdom, Three Holy Triad Joy Creativity Divine, Twenty The Awakening Clear Vision, Twenty Two Architect of Peace Master Builder, Keen Twenty Four Equals Six Christ Consciousness. Heaven, Harmony, a powerfully liberating day of planetary awakening. Day 11 of White Wizard Wave Spell using the wizard's magic through his pure heart to cast his new magic dream spell. Today's code, the yellow spectral seed, is when we can liberate our dream seeds so they can germinate. We also have a beautiful synchronic alignment of stellar celestial codes in the heavens above. Venus, planet of beauty, romance, and abundance, who is exalted, conjuncts Uranus, in the pleasurable home of Taurus. Unexpected financial windfalls and pleasures, beautiful surprises. Venus, the daughter, is returning home to visit dad Uranus for her father's blessings and gifts. What are you manifesting? Cast your dream seeds now. It is time to claim our freedom and divine rewards. Today we are being released from the dark magic spellcasting that had humanity enslaved and created a prison planet. The white wizard with the spectral tone is liberating our white magic within our hearts to release all blocks, allowing our personal and collective destiny to unfold at our greatest potential flowering. It is time to liberate our dream seeds. On a planetary level we are targeting awareness as a focus point for global awakening seeking to bring back balance and harmony to our planet. Through this process of dissolving all barriers and illusions lies our reward. Through liberating the truth we align with our highest bliss timeline, anchoring it into the concrete solid foundation we have constructed. Tone of creation, spectral, is the eleventh tone of creation. Tone eleven symbolizes a gateway, creating a potent liberation portal. We also have an 11 code day and a 22 code from 2022, giving us an 11 11 22 portal to liberate us from the old polarity game, Shazam. The spectral tone is providing an exit door for us today, inviting all to walk through, leaving all our baggage behind. The spectral tone operates in the emotional realm, and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. This is a beautiful blessing from spirit today as the spectral actions amplify our planetary liberation events today. Kaban, Red Earth, is the occult power today, making Khan's focus expanded on a global level. This creates a very potent transformative power. Today we have a whole panorama of releasing, dissolving, and cleansing old debris in order to liberate new earth, new magic, and our new life. Anything that stood in the way of expressing your spiritual magic through your divine mission will be obliterated. Today's questions are what must I dissolve and release so that my heart can fully bloom and liberate my magic vision? How can we dissolve the old dark dream spell, releasing the truth to liberate global awareness of our collective dream? Go forth and release your magic dream seeds. Divine blessings for our planetary liberation and successful seeding of our new reality. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 24, Yellow Spectral Seed. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to target, releasing awareness. I seal the input of flowering. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. We archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. 
It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support us, our work in this channel, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge or donation to our links at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, and healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our 17th dimensional beings of light through the Pleiades star system. Pleiades 1 message is June 11th, 2022. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. New centenarians reveal themselves. Creativity continues on the rise. Expansion of mediators in progress. Cellular globules dissolve. Damage counts decrease. Harmonization of pearl sensors in progress. Cell restructuring accelerated. High humans support. 11 Quantun, General, Exceptional Progress, 9% Non-Regressive, 21 Approved and Intensified in Transcendental Crossing, and Neutron, Support 37% Non-Regressive, 21 Approved and Intensified in Transcendental Crossing, and Neutron, Reverberation, 36% Non-Regressive, Neva plus R plus 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 13th Akashic Projector aimed for support assessment, 92% non-regressive. Next, 14, forecast of 19, authorized, Yebin Kao. Falls of current imitatives in progress. Fluidity of reasoning advances. Edenic serpents are consumed in divine aromas. Temporarily end of transmission, Pleiades 1, Integrating High Humans, from DisclosureNews.it. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful Sunday in the next three days until the powerful, full supermoon in Sagittarius this Tuesday the 14th. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.